In today's video, I'm going to talk about water element, mind. As I have did in the Benink illustration last November in 2019 for my alchemy series, I have not presented what it is about, so here is a chance to hear a more detailed story of it. Enjoy. Since very old times, alchemists have studied the special relationship between people and natural elements. They wanted to see how our conscious actions could be altered the physical matter in a way that can heal our mind, body and soul. Water is one of those natural elements that alchemists paid very much attention to. We all know water can cleanse, purify and rejuvenate the body and mind inside and out. However, more recent scientific studies show that there is a very special relationship between the human mind and the elements. Dr. Masaru Amato's scientific research have concluded that there is an in intricate vibrational pattern at the atomic level in all matter. He called his philosophy Hata, and here is how he described it in his own words. Hato relates words. Words are vibrations of nature. Therefore, beautiful words create beautiful nature, ugly words create ugly nature. This is the root of the universe. In the modern times, alchemist has focused on the water element in particular. His research has revealed some fascinating facts about how water relates to our intentions. His conclusion was mind-blowing. Our thoughts insert energy into water, because water has memory where all our intentions are stored. In other words, we can purposely put healing energy in a glass of water and use it to soothe our body, mind and spirit. There is much to learn about water, but one thing is for sure. Water is not just for drinking and keeping us hydrated. Water is natural conveyor of vibrational energy, a living entity where our thoughts, emotions and intentions are stored. When we understand this, we can start using the energy of this natural element to work for us and not against us. As Dr. Masaru Amoto said, we are water, but we don't know much about water. So we don't understand ourselves either. If we would understand water better, we would also come to know ourselves, where we have come from and where we are going. This is why we must study water. So I hope you stay till the end of the video and you liked it or not. I really don't care. Anyway, thanks for watching my video. Please comment, press thumbs up, share, subscribe and press the ring bell button so you would be updated for new videos. See you in the next one, which might be only next week, because tomorrow morning I'm flying off to Lithuania to tattoo a few beautiful people. Finally, I'm flying, because my flight was cancelled four times during lockdown. And yeah, finally I can fly in a few hours. So see you soon.